For many veterans, coming home means struggling to connect with life as a civilian. WMR2 News is proud to again partner with RBC Wealth Management as Maryland's voice for veterans. WMAR 2 News Eddie Kadem went behind the scenes of a vet TV to show us the heart behind the humor. I've eight in the Romeo 5 Hotel Center. Vet TV is a streaming service made by veterans for the military community. It's because it's for the military, it is mostly dark, irreverent comedy about the military experience. I'm the EOD tech. Ah, uh, for the first to die. Through raunchy humor, grit and all, they give veterans an honest and fun way to look back. Leaving the service, there's a massive feeling of isolation and loneliness, uh, a lack of people who understand them. And that is exacerbated now during coronavirus when social isolation is being imposed on us. Donnie O'Malley is a retired Marine captain and wounded warrior. He drew on his experience to create Vet TV and his nonprofit Irreverent Warriors. Like what? And he's all, hey, we got some paperwork. We're some like, of the okay, skits we'll are as simple and raw as him walking with veterans and letting them share their stories. Throughout the military experience, we all deal with enough things that suck that we have to use comedy to get through it. Whether that's just the intense experience of being yelled at in boot camp, right? As soon as the drill instructors aren't there, when you have a free moment, you're engaging in some sort of comedy with the guy next to you. To put the scope of how PTSD and depression affect veterans, look at the suicide rate. 22 veterans a day kill themselves. That comedy in the face of tragedy is like this release. It's a coping mechanism. Well, that same mentality of using comedy to cope with tragedy follows us all the way through combat when we're watching our friends get shot and blown up. In that moment, it's miserable, but very shortly after, we're making jokes about it, and that's a, that's a coping mechanism. <laughs> you good. good. You got me. He realizes that the content isn't a hit for everyone. His validation comes from the tens of thousands of subscribers and in-person stories. Irreverent Warriors holds Silky's hikes at 45 different locations in America, including a stop in Baltimore. Silkies are the short running shorts commonly used during boot camp. Can't be a tough guy and have all that bravado when you're wearing those tiny little silkies. <laughs> Immediately everybody starts laughing. So it kind of lowers everyone's guard. Now everyone is a little bit more exposed and that right there is a catalyst for people to expose that which lives within them and that's what the events are intended to do. A veteran telling their stories how they really saw it. Because military recruiting paints an image of a military ID. service member that many of us feel is not accurate. And so the best way to have this image of those who choose to serve this country is to go talk to them and listen. Thank you for helping him. Finding what's funny at the heart of our fact. Oh, in Baltimore, Eddie Kadem, WMAR 2 News.